Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy at the Grass Valley Library. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Random Acts of Science. Today we're going to be building a weather vane together. A weather vane is used by meteorologists to tell us which way the wind is blowing. So it's a little complicated, but it's a lot of fun and it's pretty easy to do. So let's get started. If you haven't already grabbed a bag from the Nevada City of Grass Valley Library, you can do that. There's a QR code on the front. If you scan that with your device, it'll take you right to this video so you can do it at your own leisure. Um, inside the bag, you're gonna find a set of instructions on how to do this experiment. On the back side, you're going to find an image of it, which is going to be helpful if you're struggling to remember how it gets built, um, as well as some more science that might come in handy to know. Also in the bag, you're going to find just a regular pencil, a straw, just a plastic straw, an index card, and a piece of cardstock that has a straight pin on it and four pieces of wire. So be super careful with the straight pin part of this, obviously. All right, let's get started. You're gonna need some other things from home as well. You're gonna need a cup, a flower pot would work well, anything like that, something pretty sturdy. Can't really be paper, it needs to be heavy. A pair of scissors, some a glue stick or some glue, some uh, tape of any kind, doesn't have to be electrical tape, a marker if you have one, that part is optional, and then you're gonna need something like sand or rock salt. So I've got rock salt for, from the de-icing here at the library, but you can use um, uh, ice cream salt or you can use sand, something with a little bit of um, texture to it though, and you'll see why here as we go. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take our straw. This is step one. We're gonna take our straw and we are gonna cut at the end of it about an inch deep. We're gonna cut into it this way, both the top and the bottom. So we have a nice little slot for our tail, our tail to slip into. So that's the first step. I'm gonna take my scissors and give that a cut right there. So now I've got a little split tail on this thing. Uh, for this to go into. And then we're gonna build the tail fin. We're gonna make a trapezoid, which has a parallel top and bottom and two sides that are not parallel. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm just gonna really quickly go ahead and cut one out like that. And then this is gonna slide into the slot that we built on our straw. In order to get it to stay put a little bit better, you can use the glue. It'll work without the glue too, but definitely use the glue if you'd like. And that will help us help it stay in, the, in place a little bit better. Okay, so step one and step two are done. This is our, this is our tail fin. So the next thing we're gonna do is talk about where the nose is. It's gonna be on the other end. It's kind of like uh, the needle on the compass. This is pointing in the direction from which the wind is blowing. So you're gonna take your marker and you are gonna color it red or whatever color you got, just to remind you that this is pointing in the direction that the wind is coming from. And the reason that that's the case is if your um, weather vane is sitting like this and the wind is coming at it, it's gonna push the hardest against the, the big piece of paper, right? which means that that piece of paper is gonna end up being parallel to where the wind is coming from, because the minute we have a side of that showing, it's just gonna push it that way. So this piece, that means the opposite end, is always gonna point in the direction that the wind is coming from. So there's that piece. The next thing you're gonna do is use the straight pin. I just pulled it out of that little piece of paper there. And we're gonna poke that through the straw from the top to the bottom. So the little white ball on the end is gonna be up and the point is gonna be down. And we're gonna do that about two inches in from the tail piece. And we wanna be sure it's about in line with that. So I'm kind of guessing here, but I think we're good. So there it is, I've got it kind of put together. That part is ready to go. So the trickiest part of this whole thing is building the compass points that go that attach to the to the pencil, because eventually your weather vane is going to poke into the top of the eraser like this. You're going to make sure it can spin. 
Um, but now we need to figure out which way is north, south, east, and west. So we're going to use the little pieces of wire and we are going to fashion them into the letters N for north, S for south, E for east, and W for west. So let's, I'll, I did a bunch of them earlier, but I'll show you how to do one of them just so you have a good idea of how it all is going to go together. So I'm going to start by just pulling one of the pieces of wire off of the paper. So I'm going to just use one end of it and I'm going to shape it into a W and the other end is going to um, have a little L shape bracket on it once I bend it down like so. And that is going to stick or that's the way we're going to attach it to the pencil. So, but I'm, I should start with the, um, with the letter. So I'm going to make the W. So I'm just kind of bending it into the shape that I need. Let's see. If you have a pair of um, needle nose pliers, that would work okay. Okay, so it's sort of a W. Maybe it looks like an M to you, but there it is. There's our W. And then to attach it to the pencil, we're going to put some tape around it about an inch or two below the uh, end of the eraser. And then we're going to build the other ones as well. So get this on here. It is a little tricky. They don't have to be perfect, but you do want to make sure that this is the west one. So opposite the west one is going to be the east one and opposite the north one is going to be the south one and make sure you get them in the right order. So that is what it's going to look like um, with one on there. And then we're going to add the other three. So here's my finished weather vane. Now that it's now that all the pieces and parts are on there. Um, I've got the four directions, uh, south, west, east, and north, made out of my wire, and it's ready to go into it, the cup, which is going to be the holder for it. So I'm going to start out by putting a little bit of the salt in the bottom, or the, make it a mess, whatever we got here, um, and then we're going to pour around it. And our goal is to keep the pencil from rotating, but let the let the weather vane spin. So, but we don't want the pencil to move, right? So once we've got that all set up, we're going to use a compass on our phone, or if you have a compass um, in a camping kit or something, that would be great. But a lot of phones have a compass app on them as well, and we are going to make sure that the north facing uh, arrow or north facing directional indicator is facing north which for me is right over there so and then you get to take it outside or get a hair dryer or get a fan and blow it at the weather vane and find out which direction you're blowing from so have a good time i hope it works out for you thanks for joining me today we'll see you next month for another edition of random acts of science